What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a cold case, one that dates back to 2017. We're going to look at the missing persons case of Austin Gamez, who went missing out of Louisville, Kentucky. He was only 27 years old at the time of his disappearance. Now some of you will recall that yesterday I covered the missing persons case of Andrea Knabel who also went missing out of Louisville, Kentucky, and that Andrea was actually working with a group called Missing in America at the time of her disappearance. Well, Austin is the case that she was working on when she disappeared, and so I felt it appropriate to also cover Austin's case. And there's a lot of sketchy stuff that happened the day that Austin went missing and in the days that followed. We're just going to get into the case a little bit. So at the time that Austin went missing, he was 27 years old. He has brown hair and blue eyes. He stood at between 5 foot 11 and 6 foot 1 inches tall and weighed between 170 and 185 pounds. Austin was last seen on the 25th of December 2017 in Louisville, Kentucky. He had a scruffy brown beard along his jawline and a small scar near his temple, near his eyebrow. Austin has multiple tattoos, including a rosary on his chest and mob on his left bicep with a stack of money. He was possibly wearing a black North Face pullover or jacket. He was wearing black True Religion jeans and had a wallet and belt buckle, either Louis Vuitton or Gucci. The SUV that Austin had been driving was found the next day with his friend inside, and she had been shot to death, and we're going to address that momentarily. I do know that the family is currently offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to finding Austin dead or alive. If you have information on Austin or his whereabouts, you can contact the Louisville Metro Police Department at 502-574-7055, and reference case number 80-17-104905. Now, as I said, there, there was some weird stuff that happened in the days that, well, the day that he went missing and the days following. Uh, obviously, his friend being found shot to death in the SUV was one of those things. There had been some strange activity with Austin's voicemail. The recording had been changed and then changed back, uh, according to family. And that was very out of character, because for the longest time, he had just had the standard pre-recorded message for his voicemail. On the day that he went missing, um, he had met a friend to take her to go look at, the at a house. And that's the friend that was later found deceased in the SUV. But before he met with her, he went to a friend's house. He had a meal with his friend and was venting to him about his personal life. And then he got a call at around 4 p.m. and told his friend that he had to go meet someone. Now, the last text that the family had with Austin was, on, was at around 5.06 on the 26th of, September, of December. I'm sorry. His friend's body had been placed in the SUV that Austin had been driving. It was actually a rental that belonged to another one of Austin's friends. The SUV was found parked at Bessler's Auto Parts on Strawberry Lane at 7 p.m. on December the 26th, and his friend was found by Bessler's employees the following morning on December the 27th. And so the family received a message from the mother of the friend that had, was murdered at 10.30 a.m. on the 27th, letting them know. Family tried calling Austin all day long, and the phone went straight to voicemail. Um, again, you know, very, very suspicious activity. And the family has been begging for anyone to help them find Austin, bring justice for Austin. With his friend being found deceased, it, it certainly is a possibility that someone, unfortunately, did the same thing to Austin. Um, but we've got, to, we've got to get the case out there. The case has gone cold with time, and 
you know, it's one of those cases where I don't feel that law enforcement necessarily took it seriously from the beginning, quite honestly. Uh, so I want to bring new light to the case, and I want to try to bring some justice for this family, and it's my hope that by putting the video out, it may trigger a memory for someone from that day or from that time. And again, as I always say, no lead is ever too small. No tip is ever too small to call in. You know, sometimes it's that smallest tip that breaks a case wide open. The family, obviously, it, you know, they want any information to come forward. Um, so, let's, let's try to get Austin's face out there back in the social media atmosphere. Hopefully, this will put a little heat on law enforcement to start taking Austin's case more seriously and investigating it the way that it should have been investigated from day one. Um, also, if Austin's family sees this, which I have tried reaching out to Austin's mother on Facebook, I do want to offer you an invitation to come on the channel. And talk about Austin's case so that we can get his full story out there. The family can always put the story into words far better than any creator can. And I'd like to offer you that opportunity on my platform. But guys, what I need for you to do is I need for you to share this video out. I need for you to give it a like. It does help more people to see Austin's face and to hear his story. And obviously, the more people that see this the better the chances are that someone will come forward. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that red subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted when I post another missing persons video. The most important thing that I need for each and every one of you to do, though, is to click that share button. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media, guys. It only takes one second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world in whether we're able to bring Austin home safe or not. As always, guys, I do thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I will see you real soon in the next video.